With the Illinois West hockey season winding down, Neuqua Valley looks to pick up win number two against Oswego at Canlan Ice Arena in Romeoville. Our first chance of the night comes from Oswego's Michael Huglier, who fires a shot, but it is caught by the glove of goalie Tyler Eithel. Driving in hard is Oswego forward Carter Kmetz, who goes from the backhand to the forehand for the shot, but he too is stopped by Eithel. 0-0 with 9 minutes to go in the first. Time winding down in the first as Nequa gets a good look. Dakota Houlihan with a pass from behind the net. The puck bounces around in the blue before the net is dislodged and the play is called dead. First good look in the second period as Nequa's Nevin Laframboise takes a shot that Jacob Wintermute juggles, but the puck is cleared from the blue and the score stays 0-0. 10 minutes left in the second, taking the puck in alone and stick handling past the defense is Nequa's Ethan Patty, but his shot is saved by Wintermute. A turnover behind the Wildcats net as Oswego's Michael Huglier has a chance right in front of the goal, but a huge save by Wildcat goalie Tyler Eithel, keeping the game scoreless after two periods. Moving into the third with 10 minutes left in regulation, Nequa's Nicholas DeMarte takes a shot from the point that is redirected by Connor Duncan into the net, giving Nequa the 1-0 lead. However, just 30 seconds later, Oswego putting the pressure on as the puck finds Ryan Winters in front of the net, who puts the tying goal in, 1-1 with 9 minutes to play. Thirty seconds left in regulation as Oswego's Luke Ayers crosses the blue line and snaps home the game-winning goal on the glove side. Oswego hangs on for the first win of the season with a come-from-behind 2-1 victory. Oh, I was uh, I got a pass from Mikey and uh, just came across the blue line trying to get a whistle to get in the zone and just make maybe make something work, but. Somehow just went in the net. I mean, I'm I'm surprised. I, I didn't even sell you or nothing. I just was in shock. Definitely not one of our hardest working games. We just came off. This is our like fifth game in a row, fourth game in a row. Uh, we played a great game yesterday. I don't know why we didn't carry through today, uh, but we got a game tomorrow and then games over this weekend. Um, hopefully, we could change our attitudes on the bench and hopefully we could just change our overall flow of the game.